creativity of Chloe. Today we're going to be starting a new creation by painting a birdhouse. We're going to be using three paints of your choice, a paint tray, three paint brushes, a few gem stickers, gloves so you don't ruin your hands, a rag in case anything falls, and a plastic cup that you can just throw away so you don't have to ruin your parents' fancy glassware. Okay, now we're ready to pour the paint into the paint tray. I already have my gloves, and you know what happened to me? My gloves were too big, so I had to change them. Make sure you have gloves that actually fit you so you're not having loose gloves everywhere. I also had to take off my watch because I don't want extra paint to go on this. Or blue paint, or yellow paint. Right there. Okay, now we're gonna pour the pink, pink, pink paint into the paint tray. If you can, try saying that three times fast. I'm going to do this one first and make sure you try to separate these so they're not too close to each other. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. Perfect. You don't want to put too much paint because we're not going to be using that much. Be sure to check that this is definitely closed. Close that well. Now we're going to pour in the yellow paint. Remember, be sure to close. Last, we can finally put our blue paint. Mm. Lastly, again, be sure this is definitely closed tight. And next, we're going to be ready to paint. Okay, now we're ready to paint the birdhouse. We're going to do pink on this side and blue on the other side. So we're going to get started by painting the pink side. You want to try and do even strokes downward so it looks nice and pretty, just like me. You can always try to go back and paint at places that you missed. Okay, now we're ready to paint. Actually, we need more blue, so we're just going to add a little extra blue paint. There it is. Remember, always close. Great. Now I'm going to paint this side blue, but there's a little pink right here. So, you know what? We're just going to paint blue and pink right there. Blue on this side, pink on the other side. Let's start painting. Remember, never put too much paint on your paintbrush because you don't really want that much paint. And there it is. Like last time, even strokes downwards. Sometimes you may have to go a little upwards because you don't really want to mess up that part. There. That's already looking good. There it is. Next we can just do this side here. Let it dry. And we can put this back into the water. Now we can finally use our pink paint brush and we're gonna paint this side pink. Still trying to do the even strokes downward so that this is really neat. Next, we're going to paint the next side, pink and blue. And as you had seen last time, I may have pulled this out a little too quickly and it made a huge mess. 
We're not going to worry about that because it happens all the time. So this is how you're really supposed to do it. I'm going to really make sure get all the paint onto the rim. And if it's really that wet, you can just dry it onto your rag. Simple. Now you can start painting. We're going to do the same colors as we did last time, except just a different order. Really easy. Make sure you have it nice and simple. You want to do it downward strokes, gently, so it looks nice and clean. Still going to be painty. We're not going to do too much paint. So I said last time because too much paint results in a little weird. Here it is, now we can do the pink. As you can see, there was a little mixing of the paint and it turned out looking a little purple, but that's okay, because it looks really pretty now. Here it is. We finished that side, so now we can let it dry. Now I got a fresh new paintbrush for the new yellow paint, and I'm going to paint this, and I'll see you when I'm finished painting the yellow side. Now that the house is completely dry, we can now add some bling. I'm using the sticky kind, so I don't have to use glue, and parents, don't worry, your kids' fingers won't be stuck together like the glue does that. I'm going to be doing the pink on the blue and the blue on the pink. And for the black gem stickers, I'm going to be putting it on the yellow side. Sorry. Here's how it's going to look at first. It's going to be going all the way down. And these are like supposed to resemble raindrops. So I'm going to do the pink raindrops first on the blue side. And... You don't have to add too many, you just need to get enough so that it's going in a straight line and it looks like it's pouring down. But if you want, you can do it at any pattern that you want. I'm going to be doing mine going downwards, so here's what it's starting to look like. Now I finished putting all of the gem stickers. I put the pink on the blue and the blue on the pink, so it looks like a raindrops that are trickling down. I even did the blue and pink right here, and the black was at the top for the outline. And in the back, I finished it off with a pink flower. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.